everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Nick and Narf. Glad you could join us today. Uh, today we are going to be presenting uh, one of my favorite artists. You know, I, these are all our favorite artists. We are re-reacting. These aren't first time hearing. These are reactions to songs we love already. But this man deserves a lot of attention. He was huge in the 70s, especially. Uh, he's the great, great Leon Russell. It's amazing. You know, Elton John called him a mentor, which I found intriguing. And then oh, they did an album, I guess, in 2010 or 11, for which they received a Grammy. Yeah. And uh, Leon Russell was a great pianist and uh, songwriter, singer, performed with all kinds of great acts before he kind of found his own solo <laughs> career, you know, in oh my gosh. 1970, where his first album, self titled Leon Russell, came out. Um, uh, anyway, we're doing two songs from Leon Russell. We're doing one Nick selection off his number, his third studio album released in 1972, his biggest album in terms of sales. It's Carney. And the song is Tightrope, which was Love a it. huge, huge hit. And it rose to number 11. The album itself went to number two uh, on the charts. Amazing. It also has the song Masquerade, which is a beautiful, beautiful love song that George Benson did a beautiful version oh, of too. Oh, God, later. I love his version. But, uh, uh, this song, Tightrope, was the big single off of the album. But, you know, but when you look up all the guys that Leon Russell played with, we're talking from Frank Sinatra to George Harrison to Eric Clapton to Willie Nelson to you name it. Over 400, I think it's 63 song collaborations. Come yeah. on, and recordings. It was huge. The one great album I really love is uh, uh, Mad Dogs and Englishmen, which came out in 1970, which he toured with Joe Cocker and a traveling ensemble. And it's a live recording of some, some great memorable songs. Joe Cocker and Leon Russell were like brothers. They really yeah. loved each other. And he played a lot of stuff with, with Joe Cocker. What a great combo. And what a great album if you've never checked out Mad Dogs and Englishmen. But anyway, if you like what you're going to hear today, we invite you to please subscribe, like, like and share and we want to thank you if you have already subscribed because your support means everything to us and we really appreciate it we care for your ears and today we're caring with it with leon russell so without further ado let's hit it this is nick selection tightrope off of carney it is the great great leon russell i'm up on the tight wire one side's ice and one is fire it's a circus game with you and me I'm up on a tight rope One side's hate and one is hope But the top hat on my head is all you see And the wire seems to be the only place for me A comedy of errors and a See, I'm up in the spotlight. Oh, does it feel right? Well, the altitude seems to get to me. I'm up on a tight wire, flanked by life and the funeral pyre. Putting on a show for you to see. I'm up in the spotlight Oh, does it feel right? Well, the altitude really gets to me Me too I'm up on the tight wire Flanked by life and the funeral pyre But I ain't gonna show you to see
All that music came out of Oklahoma. <laughs> Hard to believe. I mean, you know, he had to have some formal training. I mean, he's so good. What an, an imaginative song. It I mean, was. Well, the whole album has the theme of a carnival. A lot of the songs kind of get that way. Yes. Sort of like it's sort of it's it's not really a themed album, but a number of the of the songs sound like they could be something played in a carnival. You hear the honky tonk guitar, yeah. and like like you could imagine like a little ragtime band on a show where the carnival's getting ready to it's get started. Kind of like you're watching the Little Rascals. Oompa. Kind of a strange song, but it really, I love it. it really resonated with a lot of people. Like I said, it's, it's one of his biggest uh, hits. So and uh, it was so, so different, so unique, and it really showcased his whole album, showcased his really his creative talents as a songwriter. So if you haven't seen heard the whole album, you should really check it out. It's really great. So what did you think of Tightrope, Nick's selection from the great Leon Russell? Um. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, we're going to get ready now to play my selection, which is off the very first boo, Leon boo, oh, Frank, shut up. Boo for Frank. Off the very first Leon Russell album, which is my favorite Leon Russell album. Really, I love it. So many great songs. I remember when our my buddy John first got it, we would sit out in his car and listen to it from oh, beginning to end. Night. The, oh, so many great songs on this album, but I'm picking the final song off the original album called Roll Away the Stone. And so I need to take a break to change to CC, CD, so we'll be right back in just a second, okay? Hold on. Okay, thanks for your patience, everyone. Welcome back. We're ready to do our second selection uh, in our tribute today to the great Leon Russell, and this is his first album, uh, and it is one of the most memorable debut albums in rock history, by especially by an individual performer. Uh, so many great songs, the beautiful ballad, Song for You, Delta Lady, Pisces Apple Lady, Give Peace a Chance, Oh, God, so many. Hummingbird, uh, so many great songs. Baby Blue. I picked the final song of the album, which I love it. It is a great old good time rocker, and it's called Roll Away the Stone. So, I, I bet you Kim and Dave are going to like this. Oh, you guys song. are all going to love it. Anyway, let's get into it. Leon Russell with Roll Away the Stone.
genius. I mean, that that is a great song. Isn't that wonderful? I love that song. Just rocks. It builds up. It's got some nice little patience. Like that little bump, bump, bump. It was that just strange. so creative. I mean, this guy could have probably written musicals. I mean, he's that good. Really, the songs do feel kind of like they could be uh, pieces from a musical performance. Yeah. You know, I mean, he he had that sense of kind of showmanship and yes. sort of stagemanship where yes. he saw songs as a way to entertain and 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 use different kind of forms to to put a sensibility into to create really memorable and unusual Leon, songs. Leon Russell does Christmas songs. <laughs> but boy, that voice that, well, that, I mean, it sounds like he's swallowing his word. He's so good. His voice is so good. It's it's fun. It's like watching a great cartoon, you know? Uh, I mean, he, he unfortunately died in two 2016 at the age of 74. Heart, heart failure in Nashville. He wasn't really super old, but uh, hey, by today's standards, he's uh, he, he exceeded a number of rockers who died in the late, their late 60s. So, so talented, It's though. sad to let him go, but there were so many great, great songs he's Such left Such a with. creative mind to layer songs to with those weird breaks he does. He's so good at that. If you haven't checked out the Leon Russell Callen, can, a catalog, be sure to check it out. The first album is fabulous. Uh, uh, you know, Leon Russell and the Shelter People is And a look at album. his collaborations. Carney, you know, collaborations, his collaborations with anybody from Mad like... Dogs and Englishmen. Uh, the, uh, the concert in Bangladesh. He, I mean, he, you know, he he's there. George Harrison's concert I mean, Bangladesh. just so many... He toured with Willie Nelson and that one got like... That album was like number two when Great, they <laughs> greatly revered and admired in the music community yeah. as a first class musician and a wonderful gentleman and a and great he performer. And so humble. He really Absolutely. was a humble man. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed our tribute to the great Leon Russell today. Remember, please subscribe, like, and share if you haven't. We would appreciate it very much. Hit that like button. And we want you to look forward next time we're doing the singing nuns. So make sure that you guys are following along. <laughs> we'll okay. come up with something for you. We're always looking for the great cuts, deep something cuts, different, the yeah. gems from the, some of the great artists of all time. And we hope you're enjoying what we try to bring you because we enjoy bringing it to you with all our hearts. So thanks again for joining us on another episode Thank of Nick you guys. and Nerf. We'll see you next time. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.